Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. arrived, my lady. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual? What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Hmm. What a curious object. Isn't it? It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Please follow me, Master David. Your grandfather, His Lordship Edward Gordon. There is no denying it. We are family. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you. But Mother never had a kind word to say. You were the worst of the lot, she said. Magnificent. That is the master's study, sir, but there'll be plenty of time to examine it in the light tomorrow. 
Uh, I suppose way, it's hard sir. to keep things dry, what with all the rain you get here. Uh, most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. Does that sometimes, sir? Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon. Yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon, but I think my room is probably around here somewhere. Hold on. This looks like... Wait a moment. This is a piece of a model. I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> A pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. This handsome, cheery, sober man is not the one I remember from my childhood. Hmm. Not many matches left. I doubt this place could ever be properly warm. Oh, I can barely see my hand in front of me. Everything I ever owned could fit in there, five times over. House like this one, sooner or later, no drawer stays empty. I'm going to need a light to find my way about out there. <laughs> 